I'm the creator, the father, the conceiver of the Fig Court movie. It just started out with me and just a bunch of friends with this dream, this goal to make the best movie known to man. All the cards were falling into place. It was gonna be perfect. We had a great cast, a great director in Quentin Quarantino. It was gonna be great. We had the budget and um, just a dream. I was acting up a f***ing storm. Can we say f***? So we f***ing uh, did the movie. It was lots of fun to do. The turnout was great, I think. Actually, I don't really remember. But, you know, we're making a documentary on it right now, so I guess it was good. Or is it one of those, like, the room things where they make a documentary on how shitty it was? I'll give Derek credit. He tried his best with what he was given. It's just played with terrible production. We had all these crazy action sequences. We're hiring new directors. I don't know why we need more than one director, but we had like six at one time. It was never released? Is this gonna be released? Yeah, I don't really know what the hell happened. I, <laughs> I would just sit in the back when they needed me. I came out when they didn't need me. I just went in the back. You know, the fame got to me. Spent a lot of money on drugs. Okay, marijuana's legal now, so like, it really doesn't matter. Okay, so one drug, but I did a lot of it. Shane was just pumping cash into this thing. And so then Derek wanted more rewrites. Shane wanted all this money for uh, green screens and special effects. I didn't know where it was coming from, but then we found out later. That's what, uh, that's what cost Brandon and David their lives. You know, so with the making of this movie, you know, it was going pretty good. Until, like, Bondin and David started asking me a bunch of questions about, like, where the money was coming from. I mean, like, what the hell? Like, why would you, why would you, why would you, why were you asking me stuff about that, man? You know, you just take the money. You take the money. I just want to send my dearest apologies to the families that lost those two young men. May God rest the soul of Brandon Toto and David Wasson. Uh... That's all I can really say at this time, for legal reasons. There might have been some stuff going on backstage. I can't really confirm or deny that. Shane was running a cartel down in Mexico. And he started off in high school selling vapes and other stuff like that in the bathroom. And it just got out of hand. Pretty sure it was the cocaine coming across the border. That's how we got so rich. You know, and then the movie was done. You know, I went off and got married. I got divorced. That's why you never mail your phone stuff, man. Alexis Texas ruined my life. That's all I have to say, man. Alexa Texas was up my ass. Like, you see, you need to stop with the cut. You said stop selling the stuff that you sell to get money. And I'm like, honey, honey, none of it's illegal. Man, Bondin comes backstage. You know? I don't know what happened to him. Couldn't tell you. Honestly, couldn't tell you. you know, is, any of this, is any of this getting released, by the way? I still haven't seen David around though. I'm willing to come clean here. Uh, it was Shane. He did those murders. He killed those two young men. Uh, and that's the reason I never released the final film. The product, it's there. It's in my computer. It's ready to hit theaters, but it, it's never going to see the light of day. You know what? This interview's over. It's 421, I missed it. All right, yep, that's good. Let's get the next shot in before the rain comes in. Oh, okay. cut, cut, bro.